What's going on guys? It's your boy Cash and we are here today uh, because I actually, it's funny enough, right? I actually, the bottom right, I saw this and I didn't want to spoil myself uh, when I saw it while I was on vacation and I figured I would do it once I actually got home. This is going to be Horizon Forbidden West State of Play Gameplay Reveal. So uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, I think it, the, the actual name of it is, funny it's called Horizon Forbidden West, I guess it depends on like where she is or whatever. Now this is a game that I played, uh, not never on a stream, I, I no maybe I did stream, I don't remember, but I did try to play it, I did not finish it, uh, so I'm curious to see if this the follow up game is good, and if the follow up game is good that means maybe I should try to play the first game, and but this time maybe show you guys the process or something like that, if you guys are interested, but what's the point of playing the first game if the second game's trailer is trash? So without further ado, Skidamariki think you do. Let's get into it. Now this bad boy is 20 minutes. Wait, I didn't, okay. I guess it's just gonna do what it's gotta do. Now, I remember when I watched the PS5 like trailer, they showed a little bit of this game and it still looked pretty good. And also, guys, is there any other state of play game uh, that I should check out that was revealed? I didn't see the event at all. I just happened to see Maximilian's video thumbnail. Hi, everyone. My name is Matthijs de Jonge. I'm the game director on Horizon Forbidden West. Last year, we revealed our ambitious new project. And since then, the team has continued to make great progress on the development of the game. We are very excited and honored to give you an update in this state of play. And in the countdown video leading up to this moment, you have already seen glimpses of the Forbidden West. But now we have something truly special for you. Truly Almost special. 14 minutes of gameplay captured on PlayStation 5. And you don't have to wait any longer. Let's get right to it. There we go. So this is about 15 minutes of just pure gameplay is what he's saying, which is pretty cool. Capture on the thing. This is not the final product. Subject to change. You know, got to put that in there just in case someone sees something ugly. Like, we'll change it. Oh, this guy's pregnant. Easy, easy. It's okay. She got a little chunky. Right here. Now, I'm assuming it's still the same premise. I didn't see the end of the first game, so I don't know what happened. I remember slightly. Ruins a crawler with raiders. They hit our camp hard. We ran and they chased us down. Aaron was away from camp. Scouting. I bet he's still out there. Pretty much the first game is like corporate America messed up. That's like how I can summarize it in like two seconds. <laughs> Claw Striders. You should go after Aaron. If they find him before you do, who knows what they'll do to him? He's like, yeah, yeah, give me that drink though. You're injured. I have to. Don't worry about me. I'll make my own way out. Get going. Just, just, okay. just leave me with the bubbly. I'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. This shit good. <laughs> Alright, I think now we're in the game engine. Yeah, this is the actual engine now. The gameplay engine, I should say. Yep, see, now she's moving. Her face did seem a little bit more fuller. I feel like I saw a video thumbnail about that, like people complaining that she looks, she's probably thicker. I mean, she's getting older. But her face is more fuller, but her body is still slender. I don't know. I have to look at the first game and like critique it for reasons I don't think is really important. Oh, the, the classic flex shots. I was say, can you still, like, uh, hide? Okay, so they look way more... Oh, yeah, I do remember this game had stealth mechanics. Like, you know, like, you can stealth the thing. Wow, his, his mouth is, like, two axes. Uh, sorry, saws. Okay, that's why they're so colorful. They're controlled by a tribe. Riding machines? This is not good. 
Now, is that a machine or a person? But that's why it's so colorful that it's like a tribe. Oh, I guess still not a thing anymore. I need to get clear. Okay, so a smoke bomb. I don't know if they had a smoke bomb in the last game. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. Oh no. Bottom right, you see, there's nothing on the bottom left. I'm not blocking anything. What can they do from that? Do they, can they spit acid? Can't you just... Okay. It's like a grappling hook. Can they go in the water? I guess not. Is it like still old school that machines can't go in the water? Oh, okay. I guess I like. And she can take control of them. I wonder if this is... Um, I mean, this is obviously she's older. So all her abilities from the first game should still be intact, unless it's like a Super Metroid thing where for some reason she loses all her abilities because, I don't know, spaceship crash or something stupid. I mean, the game looks gorgeous, obviously. That is a mechanical alligator, I think. <laughs> Mega alligator. This is just the flex that there is an underwater component in the game. Now, are those little small machines or are those actual fish? Oh, that's a big thing. Look at that. I'm not going to lie. So far, they haven't shown anything that's like really cool, I guess. Like, uh, graphic engine seems great, but... So is a story-based game, you know? This is supposed to be a more action-packed game. She shot at the thing a couple times and then kind of gave up. Okay. Friends, okay. I'm not just the ones you slaughtered. But when they come looking for me, there's gonna be trouble. Yeah, shut up. Trouble. Okay, they tamed the big boy. Okay, so they are humans. Gotcha. You guys wouldn't be laughing. I have my hammer. Get up. Get moving. Even with a hammer, he's still pretty outnumbered. <laughs> Just saying. You guys wouldn't be talking shit if I could take you out one at a time. A lot of story stuff for for the gameplay. A lot of story based stuff. I'm looking for some action. I want to see her take out at least one hunter, one of those machines. Come on, Alloy. Are we gonna get Assassin's Creed? Is she gonna start killing people? I could. Did she do that in the first game? I don't think so. Most of the first game was fighting machines. Is 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 Alloy gonna have to choke a bitch? <laughs> But so, someone in the comments put where that's from. Oh no, is she actually gonna have to? I don't remember her in the first game killing people. Raiders made short work of it. Filthy Osiram. Or is it just KO? That's definitely a kill. Okay, so they have body parts you can take off as well. I'm gonna take you out. Uh oh. Look, there goes the hammer. Okay, yeah, so as you can see, those things that light up. We should have supers now? What the fuck? What was that? Okay, 
Okay, that like super KO'd him, I guess. Back to the hunt. I should have been paying attention also to the bottom right. I have no idea. Um no idea what those things. I think the oranges are health and the purple is those abilities. I'm talking over, I'm sorry. Uh she said she's gonna go cut someone off. So she's killing people now. But I also find weird, I mean, the, most of the game is built off the civilization aspect of it, but I guess if humans have control and are making their own separate tribes and stuff like that, I guess it, it makes sense that she has to fight more people. Okay, I've seen that as well. I don't know if you have to have an eye for that or that, that's like a triangle prompt. Look at our graphics. Okay. Way to get there first. She's gonna take control of that, most likely. Okay. She's got some gadgets on her. I gotta be careful. Do you though? Do you really? Yeah. Okay, so the, they they disabled like the HUD stuff. So yeah, there's definitely probably some triangle squares or something like that. Okay, so she took over this machine. So it looks like killing Killing's not off the table. Why is she looking confused? She definitely saw this like literally two minutes ago. She got some stuff on her. Okay, she it's like a remote detonating lance. Oh, okay, that thing is insane. Yeah, it's, it's too fast to, to read all that stuff. It's too much. Okay. Sticky. All right. Targeting. Time to head back. Okay, she shot that thing off and now is using it as a weapon. Now, I'm trying to look. So now it's free roaming, right? So these things are probably free roaming in general. They just, they just tamed it. Now they're off of it. She's gonna grapple up top. Chain grapple. I don't know what the purpose of that was outside of just look at my graphics. <laughs> Oh yeah, gotta get that belly. Time to finish this. <laughs> Look at my graphics. Hey, Lord. <laughs> Glad to see me. Uh, you bet. <sighs> if only it had his hammer. I owe you another one. And not like a bow that like transforms in a staff changing thingy. Time, I have a present for you. Oh, oh. I found it, Emily. Huh? What you sent me for? Right before the raiders got me. You did good. No. 
I thought it was like a Sweet cup of soup. Oh no, it's a super map. Five more minutes somehow. I guess it's them just talking about what we saw. Hey, he's back. So there you have it. The first gameplay footage from Horizon Forbidden West running on PlayStation 5. We hope you are as excited about it as we are. Deep dive. I kind of want to see this. I want to explain certain here, things. We would like to spotlight some of the new elements you have just seen in our gameplay capture. And to help with that, please welcome Ben McCaw, narrative director on Horizon Forbidden West. Thanks, Matthijs, and hello to all our viewers. The narrative Horizon director. West is set a thousand years in Earth's future after a global catastrophe. All right, okay. People live on in primitive tribes, but they're no longer the dominant species. Giant, animal-like machines now roam the land, and they are extremely dangerous. The machines aren't the only threat in the Forbidden West. A the strange carrots. red blight is spreading across the land, and it won't be long before it strangles all life. Okay. Aloy, our hero, is the only Aloy. one who can stop the blight. But to do that, That's she a lot and of pressure. companions will have to comb through the ruins of the old world to find the technology they need. In this quest, Aloy has sent her loyal friend Erend into the remains of San Francisco to find a crucial piece San of San Francisco. Erend encounters raiders from a rebel faction of the Tanakh tribe. They are vicious fighters, but even worse, they've acquired the power to override machines. To rescue Erend, Aloy winds up fighting them. But first, she must cross the ruins to reach their camp. We face a lot of obstacles as we traverse the ruins of San Francisco. To overcome them, we've given Aloy some great new tools. Using the focus scanner, you can highlight spots that allow free climbing anywhere in the open world. Oh, that's what she did. The I didn't even see that. The speeds up climbing and can get you quickly out of trouble. The shield wing allows you to safely descend from great heights or surprise enemies from above. With the diving mask, you can stay submerged as long as you like. And diving take mask. To plan a path around amphibious machines. Okay. Or boost through strong underwater currents. I didn't notice that. Overland travel. A variety of machines can be overridden and used as mounts or in combat. Combat in Horizon Forbidden West puts a strong emphasis on tactics and player choice. For close range combat, the spear is an excellent option. There's a range of combos that have different uses and effects. Valor surges add a unique set of special abilities. Yeah, it's like the special. One of which to knock back nearby enemies. The spear can be charged to create a high damage effect that can take down even the stronger enemies. A wide array of different weapons is quickly accessible via the weapon wheel. A slingshot with adhesive grenades to temporarily stall machines. Bows with arrows that can strip armor and expose weak spots. A powerful launcher that fires spikes that explode on impact. Smoke bombs that temporarily blind enemies. Okay. You can pick up weapons shot off from machines. The full game has many more unique weapons, and each of them can be upgraded on a workbench. But more on that another time. There we go, yeah, she shot down the little thing on the top. The player will need to be smart and creative and use all uh -oh, of the combat we're not smart. we have shown to deal with a large variety of deadly machines. Sun wings in the sky, claw striders and tremor tusks on land, step moss in the water, even the seemingly harmless burrowers that you saw briefly swim by. They are all dangerous, and even more so when overridden by human rebels. We've only scratched the surface of the rebel threat, as Aloy will fight them in many forms throughout the game. Okay. And to defeat them, she must explore the open world to uncover the secret behind their power. She must do side quests. The secret is related to her quest to stop the blight. And this is just one of the mysteries she will unravel as her journey through the Forbidden West takes many twists and turns. It's time to wrap it up. We will have more updates close to launch, and everyone here at Guerrilla can't wait for you to experience the full game. 
Thank you for watching. So, of course, that's definitely my first time seeing it. MFO will definitely be, I mean, it looks pretty good. I think you'd have to definitely 110,000% really be on top of like what's going on in the game. Uh, when I played the first game, there was a point where it was like, that not, I wouldn't say annoying, but it was like definitely like a, a little bit more tedious uh, playing through. I wonder if they kind of cleaned that up. I don't remember, but I just remember my mind saying, Yo, this is a little tedious. It's like you had to kill so many little monsters to get to where you wanted to go or you want you because you, you didn't have anything. But see, this game, she probably starts off with a lot. Uh, instead of having to learn it in the first game, where I learned how to override a machine before you didn't, ha before you could override a machine, you had to uh, take control. Uh, you had to just traverse everywhere. So everything in the first game was her learning and getting used to her little eye thing. Uh, so this one, she should be a little bit more comfortable, or and it has more usage to it. The combat looks pretty good. Obviously, the gra the graphics. Look at my graphics. Uh, looks pretty good as well. So I can't really. I don't have anything wrong to say about it. I guess. I guess it would just be if the storyline is bad. But the storyline seems fine too. She has to stop a blight, which is weird. But even in the first game, she was just, you know, she's always has these big, really large uh, things she has to do. Uh, and her stopping a blight, which seems to affect uh, like the agriculture and everything like that, which is usually tied back to the machines and something like that. Something happened in San Francisco, and it's fucking up everything. Anywho, YFOs in the comment section below. Let me know how you feel. Do you guys want to see this game? Now, it's on the PS5. It is, looks like it's, I think it's a PS5 exclusive. The first game is uh, on PS4, and it has DLC. So do you want me to play the first game at any uh, time and point? And uh, if I get a PS5, do you want me to play this one as well? I'm really curious to see if you guys uh, like this game or have even heard of it. Do you guys even remember it? It's very old. I think it came out with the PS4 or obviously maybe a year or two after. But it was definitely one of the bigger PS4 releases. Uh, so this was, being on the PS5 is definitely a big thing. And let me know. So like, comment, subscribe, and just remember that every day at the Cash Game is your lucky day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.